I am having a CAR T cell transplant. And I'm excited and scared all at once. <laughs> This was, you know, kind of brought out of clinical trials again um, with encouraging results in a population of patients that, um, you know, needed a therapy like this. I was diagnosed, um, let's see, uh, June probably of 2019. And the only reason I knew I was sick was because I actually went to the doctor to have a med check. And so they sent me for a CT scan and they found out whether my lymphoids are swollen. So from there, they did a biopsy, and then they found out that, that this is what I had. Excited and scared all at once. I'm very excited to have it done, but at the same time, it's like, I was, I'm scared. Just one, this is all it right here. It's gonna do the trick. I hope that the CAR T cells go in, uh, they behave themselves. You know, upon infusion, they go throughout the body and circulate and go to the areas where her disease is, whether or not it's in the lymph nodes or in the, in the bone marrow, um, and, and takes away her lymphoma. It can take a while for uh, CAR T cells to work. Um, sometimes this, the immune storm that, that can occur after CAR T cells makes kind of the response uh, objectively, either on physical exam, you can feel the lymph nodes go away, but often you can't see inside the body. We have uh, waited until about two to three months after the CAR T cells to see if it, take, it took all of the lymphoma away. Dr. Hunting is an awesome doctor. He really is. You know, I mean, he's, he's been very supportive and I trust the doctors and we're gonna go for it. You gotta truly get the patient, you know, in a shape that they can, and their disease under control enough to get to CAR T cell because I think that can be, you know, a really dicey period of time when the disease is growing and you're still waiting for the CAR T cells to be manufactured. Really, kind of, it's been an art and how to get to those people to their to their CAR T cell therapy. They have good good doctors, good treatment, and they're not letting the COVID get in the way. You know, a lymphoma that's you know been nasty. It's not been uh, been behaving uh, itself well. Um, that, that CAR T cells can, can help get that under control and, and perhaps put them into a remission that they haven't been able to achieve or at least not for a long time. We're just blessed to have the opportunity to do it here at Nebraska Medicine and to have the support both from uh, UNMC and Nebraska Medicine to continue to write this book on cellular therapy here.